Hello from the Future of Go Summit in Wuzhen, China. I'm Tora Grapel, research scientist at DeepMind. I'm joined here by Hajin Li, a former Fordan professional player. Hello. So we had a very special format today for the first uh, game. Can you tell us about that? Yes, the first game was a pair go format where two human players, each of them teamed up with AlphaGo. And then they really had to work as a team, but they were not allowed to discuss with each other. Oh, fascinating. And how mm -hmm. did that work out? So it was really interesting to see how the human players were like trying to adjust to the AlphaGo style. And in that process, I believe the players learned a lot of different things. Oh, fascinating. So uh, let's look at an early position. What happened here in the top right corner? That's right. So in this game, when black came over here, we all expected white to push over here because the normal sequence and black would extend, white would jump. But then this Joseki over here wouldn't really coordinate with this part because when black pushes, white need to answer this way and black can even push it more. And with this shape, this white would be somewhat over-concentrated. So when black comes over here, this result would be play, uh, favorable for black. Right, so uh, white uh, played a different move then. Right? That's right. So at this point, it was AlphaGo's turn in white's team. And AlphaGo chose this one space jump, which is often considered a um, bad move. That's because when black pushes here and then presses, white has to come out. And then when black cuts, this is a Mi situation where white has to give up either these two stones or this one stone. Right, but in this particular situation, it worked out remarkably well. Can you show us how? Yes, that's right. So this situation was special because after black capture this one stone, this black's um, good influence was somehow reduced by this white's position already. And also because this was leather, white could get two moves around here. So when white came over here, if black answered, then white could save this one stone. Right. So that's why black had to come over here. And we can see that still these white stones are somehow limiting the black's influence toward this area. And then white could come over here. And make a second attack. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Fascinating. Yes. Thank you. OK, so here a little later in the same game, um, another interesting situation arose. Can you explain what happened? That's right. So after black came over here, white played here, and this move over here is looking at black's weakness. So if black answered here to reinforce this weakness, right. white would extend here, making a good shape in the side. But it is somewhat unavoidable for black because this um, attach over here would be too severe. Yes. In the actual game, black played here, which was uh, amazing timing, in my opinion. Because oftentimes when you see this invasion, white needs to let this black connect to the corner mm -hmm. in order to keep this white shape. But if white did that in this situation, by connecting to the corner, black would this black's weakness over here would be naturally weakened. So for example, after this one, because the corner is already quite safe when white needs to come out over here to secure this group, black could choose this one, and then this one wouldn't have much meaning for white. Right. So white would have to choose a different variation here. That's right. So that's why white didn't want to let black connect to this corner. In the actual game, white exchanged this attach, and then hung it so that if black blocked here, white would block this one. And then when black Ataris, instead of connecting here, white would choose this cut. And after this, black can save this group. Right. Mm. But there is still this weakness. And then also, white can have a better shape in the center. So this was white's plan to, to like this. 
Right, but yes. that's also not what happened then. That's right, right. Yeah. yes. And because White had this plan, instead of blocking this corner, Black chose to come out here. And then White exchanged this one. If black blocked here, then it would become the same sequence. Right. But black connected here, and then white tarried this one. So eventually it became a big exchange where white got this corner, and then black got the outside. So Haned here connect. It would have been nice if white could come out here. But then the capturing race between the corner and the outside would have been somewhat difficult for white. Right. Yes. So like this, it would have been not possible for white. So white had to come back to the corner here. And then black blocked. White had to connect. And then black blocked, and then black blocked here. At the post-game press conference, Fan Hui told us that AlphaGo thought this result was good for black. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because although white got the whole corner, black's outside was really good. And also black got sente. And this one was sente, so white had to take this one. And then with here. Right, and so yes. white got the corner territory, but black ended up with a lot of strength on the outside. That's right, yes. Thank you. So later in the game, there was an interesting development here on the lower left. Can you explain what happened? That's right. So after black built this influence, came into here to attack these two stones. And then we all thought this was a good move. Right. But at the press conference, Fan Hui told us that actually AlphaGo was expecting this move. And the merits of this move mm. would be? Yes. And this move is very difficult to think because, first of all, it's very high it's on the fifth line. And also, when you think about um, chasing these two stones, somehow eliminating the eye space is the first intuition you have. But this move is um, globally looking at all this um, Black's influence, the whole board. And somehow, because of these uh, Sente moves, White cannot come outside. So even if White could live inside, Black would be able to build a huge moyo in the center. And that would give Black's big advantage. So that was a much better move than this invasion. And when Guli saw this move for the first time, he said that he wouldn't have thought about this move. Once he saw it, he thought it was quite impressive. Yeah, it's very good to see that professionals can learn uh, from AlphaGo. That's right, yes. Great, thank you. Thank you.